Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader. Welcome to this video Futures, Forex, and Stock Trading for Beginners, Part 1. In this particular video, I'm going to be going through a lot of basics of trading, what you need to get up and get running. Now, I'm going to ask you, which I know many of you won't do this, but stay to the end because what I promise to share with you is some of the golden nuggets and the critical information that you really need to succeed in this business. Perhaps one of the biggest injustices to many traders uh, potential outstanding trading careers is they'll spend more time planning a weekend trip away than what they will planning their day trading career you've got a potential of financial independence for life but unfortunately a lot of traders that get sold on an ad they might see on YouTube or or in the newspaper or online that this is easy you can get into it and make your fortune within a month this is just not so I'm going to be showing you what steps you really need to take now the great news is it cost you pennies in a dollar you don't have to spend a fortune mastering the art of day trading so stay to the end um, you know spend the next 30 minutes or so watching this video because I'm going to go through markets to trade trading platforms to use and a whole lot more so as I do get underway first of all I do need to pull up the disclaimer there is a risk in trading uh, don't trade with the rent money if you've got the trading account ready to go fantastic trade on the simulator until you're consistently profitable but better still pause the video and read the disclaimer you don't want me to read out this full disclaimer uh, now what you can do of course click on the link below and you can get hold of my free training manual and I've also got another free ebook you can obtain the truth about day trading so please visit my website or you actually you click on the link below I believe so my marketing people tell me and um, and even better still make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel I've got hundreds of videos on YouTube where you'll be able to be kept up to date with my latest material and even better still become a member for $197 by the way this is only a very quick plug and then we'll get on with it but $197 you get 15 of the world's best day trading and swing trading strategies I've been doing this now for over 26 it's now nearly 27 years I've amassed a mountain of training material and dozens of different strategies and ideas which I cover in my in my course online anyway go and join or better still visit my website and request further information so you'll be able to find out a lot more okay that's the end of the ad so let's get into this first of all I want to talk about the financial freedom that you can realistically achieve as a trader now at the moment we're going through the coronavirus um, crisis globally we have seen millions losing their jobs and more and more people are looking what alternatives uh, do I have when it comes to trading now what that has also done is had a massive effect on the markets whether you be trading Forex futures or stocks we've seen massive volatility and the requirements from brokers has also gone up yes stocks have come down in value but if you're going to day trade stocks you still got the $25,000 account rule or the patent trading rule where you've got to have 25,000 in your account so yes what I'm going to show you of course works brilliantly on stocks kills it we've got a lot of stock traders but also absolutely kills it for Forex traders and for uh, futures traders now what you want to do when you first get going as a trader you want to start off with a small account now because of the increased margin requirements right now and the volatility the ideal account is is really fifteen hundred to seventeen hundred dollars to open an account with the broker and we're going to talk about brokers in a moment but that's the ideal account size now when the volatility settles down in the next few months you can drop that down to about eight hundred dollars but right now because of extra volatility now I won't go into all the reasons you want to be trading what we call higher time frames now based on a seven hundred dollar account and not risking any more than two percent we call call it the two percent rule and earning only fifty dollars a day within 14 weeks you're up to earning a thousand dollars a week within 20 what is it there 30 weeks you have the potential of earning ten thousand dollars a week now 
all I ask you to be is to be open-minded at this stage traders okay just be open-minded to the possibility of this because as I said I'm opening email or oh, email <laughs> opening slide here what would you attempt to do if you knew you could not fail now I'm going to be sharing with you in coming episodes uh, some of the uh, results being achieved by some of my members it's very easy for me to say okay here's what I earn but that's me but what about you as a new trader or perhaps a struggling trader so $1,700 is a great amount to start with now as you build your account this is by the way for the experienced traders here this is trading the micros now you want to move away from a micro account as soon as possible to trade a standard lot and the best way to do that is when your capital increases to around seven thousand dollars so you start off with seventeen hundred you keep leaving your 250 in you start to trade multiple contracts as you double your money okay so you're not compounding it as far as increasing it recklessly before you can start trading two contracts you've got to go from seventeen hundred dollars to thirty four hundred dollars this is very conservative now once we get to the standard contract of say six or seven thousand dollars you can see here within 14 weeks you can be away up there earning where is it 18 weeks let me get it right here the potential of earning ten thousand dollars a week and that's earning 200 a day now we've got a setup called a 2b it just kicks butt day in day out it's a trend following strategy now what if you said look look I've got the account size but I think I could only do 100 a day or I feel really comfortable well this is what we call scalping if you scalp at just hundred dollars a day with a six thousand dollar account you're up there at earning two thousand dollars a week within around week 25 uh, 13 weeks you're up there at a thousand dollars a week 25 weeks you're up there at two thousand and yes it'll take you a while longer but up there at uh, week 44 you're earning your will have the potential let me put that in because some people just go crazy about that you've got the potential of ten thousand dollars a week that's only on one hundred dollars a day 100 I'm going to show you how to do that now here are the key considerations that we've got you know what a lot of people here I've I actually removed this slide but I'll, I'll put it back in you know a lot of traders they was as I mentioned earlier they get sold on the dream and you know if they're just not willing to put the work in and the only place in the world where I know success comes before work is in a dictionary you need to gain the screen time and that's a beautiful part about trading now with the trading platforms are there which we're going to have a look at in a moment uh, you can trade on the simulator as long as you like until you get this right but the fact is so many uh, would-be traders are not willing to put the time and effort into mastering the art of trading but the great news is traders this is not rocket science it's about pattern recognition it's about learning the, the, the tools of a trade that you use your trading platform but so many traders I want to get in they want to start live trading within two weeks a lot of it is because of a gambling mentality or because of um, uh, a income requirement uh, and they've just got to get earning money well guess what happens it usually doesn't work out so let's get into this first of all this is a business you've got to treat this as a minimum of a 90 to 180 day internship do this traders and you will succeed in this business okay treat it as a business you know don't use standard notepads where you've got bits of paper flying every go and get yourself spiral binders and you'll find out a lot more about that in my program but it's very very important you look at the right time the next thing is acquiring the knowledge on how to actually day trade now whether you become one of my students or not whether you uh, go down the road of self discovery discovery self learning it really doesn't matter but take the time okay it takes time and what you want to do is cut through the chaff for chaff as quickly as possible to get to what does it really take what knowledge do I really have to have which are the right setups etc so take the time do your research next one is having a trading goal 
so important that as I showed you on those spreadsheets and my members actually get this on an Excel spreadsheet and I show you how to actually set some goals you then print it out and you set a goal it's so important because you show me a person with a big enough uh, why why they want it and I'll show you a person that will find the how so have a trading goal next thing of course is your account size realistically you want to have a thousand dollars or more now there's one advantage with trading Forex you can trade what we call a micro account on Forex which is 10 cents a pip there you could get underway with just a few hundred dollars so you can do some things like that to gain the real type trading experience uh, however even still you'd start trading on the simulator and then consider going live these are essential steps that you must take so you want that sort of thousand dollars money management risk management now this is where we never ever ever risk more than two percent and I still see the amount of garbage and that's at your maximum the amount of garbage at day traders and traders are told oh no you can risk five percent no problems traders if you, you may as well go on a holiday you're going to lose your money okay please don't be insulted by some of what I'm telling you now I'm just giving you the the, the factual information here you can never risk more than two percent and as your account grows you want to drop it down for an example if we go back to this table here and you get over here where you're earning $200 a day per contract you're trading okay so over here you got the potential there of earning a hundred thousand dollars a week there on 100 contracts trading 100 contracts earning over five million dollars a year now realistically are you still going to run at a two percent risk now on a six thousand dollar account okay that means you can risk $120 a trade we typically have got an 80 to $100 risk that's typically in a normal market conditions you're risking but no you wouldn't as you build your account you lower your risk from one and a from two to one and a half to one and eventually down to 0.5 now yes you'll have a slightly well let me say a lower return on your equity but you'll be in the business for the next 20 or 30 years you will become wealthy but everyone seems to want to gloss over this picking the right market to trade every market has its own personality and when we look at markets to trade let me quickly bring this up for you at the moment the um, uh, there's a, a great market that come out last year well I say a great market a great new contract called the micro minis which is a futures contract now on the uh, left here and this this is a little bit off screen how can I get this over I don't know how can't get it, get it over but anyway here we've got the standard NQ you've probably heard of the NQ market the Nasdaq this is the standard contract and this is the micro contract now if you trade this market here it's what we call five dollars per tick or twenty dollars a point there are four ticks or four movements to a point twenty dollars with the new micro it's only 50 cents a tick or two dollars a point so it's one tenth of a size and look at it it behaves virtually it really it's really exactly the same you've heard we've all heard of the ES the ES is $50 a point which is uh, four four $12.50 ticks now the micro you can see over here virtually models this look at this see this virtually every movement is the same and this is now five dollars a point or a dollar 25 a tick so you can start with these smaller contracts and that's why you only need that seventeen hundred dollars what if then you've got twenty thousand dollars traders and I've got a lot of wealthy traders that, that I train and that are members I've got now over I think it comes to about nine thousand members globally well traders it comes down to this even if you've got twenty thousand dollars go and invest fourteen thousand okay go and open up an account start with a micro build from there and then go to the bigger contract where you need six or seven thousand depending on market conditions so you'll see that in another video where that can vary the margin requirements can vary subject to volatility of the market so you still want to start off with the micro and earn the right to go from here to start trading the big contract I promise you traders you'll be in the business long term 
now I won't go through all of these but you've got treasury notes you got the standard equity indexes you got energy the crude oil the black gold the Texas tea which is ten dollars a point huge market um, and a great market you've got the Forex futures contracts which um, are, are fantastic because it's very very low commissions and they model the standard Forex market and there's many many benefits in trading those you've got agriculture you've got metals like the uh, the yellow gold okay um, gold which is ten dollars a point also so we've got a whole range and then you've got the European market now I apologize you can't quite see it um, over there but I think you're getting the general drift traders that there's a ton of options there for you when it comes to markets to trade and yes I train traders in what I know are the best markets because what we look at we look at the personality of the market and yes they do have their own personalities what we want is a trending reliable market you don't want a market that spikes all the time that's unpredictable very important the next thing is your broker I stay absolutely neutral when it comes to brokers and I don't recommend brokers deliberately because so many brokers send clients to me but what I will say you want to make sure that your broker is a fully regulated broker such as licensed in the USA Australia or in the UK uh, the USA now are probably the strictest when it comes to broking because um, uh, what we've got in the US now is with the CFTC and the NFA they can actually log in to a broker's account at any time to check the segregated accounts and their account balances okay so they're very very strict there which is great news for the consumer for the client and uh, ASIC in Australia is very very strict and same with the UK um, regulator so you want to make sure you get the right broker now do your homework okay spreads if you're a trading Forex are very very important <coughs> excuse me and of course commissions now with say ninja trader as a broker who also have their own um, uh, trading platform <coughs> now ninja trader is one of the best uh, commission rates there it's well under four dollars fifty trade station who I've been using for over 20 years is brilliant uh, then you've got uh, amps AMP futures uh, in the US fantastic commissions all right some of the lowest I've ever seen uh, and many many clients with them and these are not broker endorsements I'm just giving you some background so take your time um, if you're in Europe make sure you google the broker really take some time in finding the broker but make sure that you're with a regulated broker the next thing here is our charting platform uh, that we're going to be using now when it comes to that traders this is really important because if you're planning right now or, or um, uh, in the short term or long term to be a professional trader whether you be trading professionally part-time or full-time because in this business we earn a full-time income trading part-time we've got to have the right trading tools now there's many many different charting platforms out there now TradeStation 9.5 and 10 I've been using 9.5 for years and nearly all my clients do as well use 9.5 their very latest platform is 10 uh, ninja trader 7 and 8 similar sort of thing to 9.5 8 is their latest version both TradeStation ninja trader outstanding professional platforms so is Sierra charts uh, multi charts and uh, my understanding is that many years ago the guys that originally wrote the language the easy language is called for trade station sold it off and then started multi charts and language is very very similar if you're going to be trading Forex uh, mt4 is the still the most popular there is an mt5 but mt4 and it's free uh, typically you can lease trade station is look I won't go in the pricing models there are so many but the big thing is traders don't get caught up with that you need to spend thousands of dollars because some trading platforms are systems uh, within themselves and I say look you've got everything here but that'll be sixteen thousand dollars thank you or that'll be five thousand dollars you do not need to spend that sort of money traders you really don't okay but you do need to have the right platform so um, uh, not necessarily in order uh, I've got probably more clients now with ninja trader but trade station ninja trader Sierra charts if you're trading uh, Forex mt4 
uh, then you've got um, multi charts too there with the amps you can get multi charts I think it's free through amps uh, and Sierra is part of a broker I'm not exactly sure but I've got a lot of clients seem to be coming on that have got Sierra and then you've got the real classic um, standard brokers trading platforms which are very very basic now if you're just doing a bit of swing trading etc that's probably fine but if you're going to start doing some serious trading you need to have a serious platform that's absolutely essential now the next thing uh, there is your data now Forex data is free with with every broker that I know of globally uh, but when it comes to futures data no matter which country you are in the world whether it be the UK Europe uh, the US Australia really doesn't matter you've got to pay for the data and that can vary from a couple of dollars a month up to you can spend I think I spend about um, about 90 or 100 dollars a month for all the exchanges that I subscribe to and I get the data through my trading platform okay and um, trade station then takes a fee so you've got to make sure you got the right data but you do have to pay for that in most cases now the trading chart time frames and this is where it comes down to your personality uh, many of my clients including myself we are what we call scalpers in and out in and out and when you're scalping it may a trade may last seconds it could be minutes it may go for an hour and then you've got what we call day trading where you might be in a trade it could be five minutes it could be half an hour it might be all day but you don't hold overnight positions and you then you've always got a combination of the two and then you've got your swing traders that are holding for a position maybe a week etc because some traders are just not cut out for doing short-term trading the huge advantage of short-term trading is uh, lower time frames means what we call a smaller stop loss and you're able to scalp the market you don't hold positions overnight you've got a lower risk so there are many benefits but it comes down to working out what or which um, will suit you and then that leads us directly into the chart type whether you use a time-based chart a, a one minute a five minute a 15 minute a one hour or then you go to what we call tick range Renko and volume so these are things you need to find the time now of course all the old timers now you can say I'm an old timer okay I'm 60 <laughs> but uh, many of the older the really old ones gave okay, these to use and that's all you really had as an option was using time-based charts but there are massive benefits when you start using tick range rank or even volume and there is a range of other different types of charts out there uh, I love Renko and tick the combination of the two is is incredible which you will learn if you're fairly new so it's a, a great combo there now the next thing is is the indicators and let me tell you traders the best things in life are truly free now what I've just done here is just put up my live chart here and so what we're looking at just um, let, well, let's go and have a look uh, here we go. so we're looking at the ES right now okay so this is the ES and this is a Renko chart let me just expand that out so this is what we call um, uh, 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 an entry chart this is my main trading chart and as you can probably just saw the before I had two other higher time frames I like to trade in the direction of a higher time frame so you wait for the market to pull back and then you trade back in the direction of that market now what I was going to show you and what I will show you here is the amount of indicators now as I mentioned I've been in this business only 27 years and I have hundreds and hundreds of indicators trading systems strategies methodologies many I've bought had designed or had written for me um, and let me tell you a little secret the best things in life for free uh, many of my indicators uh, are just standard indicators uh, with with um, just my customized settings and so don't get hooked on but you've got to spend a lot of money on indicators because you don't virtually every good trading platform whether it be show me's uh, whether it be paint bars uh, or standard indicators um, you know the best of the best things are, are free they really are 
and so we see here my moving averages got moving averages here I've got yes I've got a stochastic this is called a two smooth you can just simply use a standard stochastic here I've got a MACD which I like for my divergence uh, and all of these you can get for free on a standard trading platform the only thing is my little white paint bar there which will as you can see there it picks turning points really well is that I've got a customized for two or three different um, platforms but you know what all it is is a pattern that even if you've got a platform that I don't have a super scalper coded for it's very very easy to, to learn the rules why does that plot it doesn't plot until an uptick above that second candle by the way all right I've got to have two candles down two candles up two down two up all right and there's a couple of other things that go with it rules to make it work but it kicks butt I call it the super scalper and you can use it on any time frame but what I was trying to get across there it doesn't matter uh, which platform you've got because even if I don't have it for your platform you can simply um, uh, just look just learn the pattern it's very easy and that's the other thing traders is to have the, the confidence that yes you can do this you know so many traders that it looks complicated at first and as I say to trader it's just like learning how to drive a, uh, a stick shift or what we call down under here in Australia a manual motor vehicle okay it, at first you've got to push in a clutch you've got to use the brake the accelerator you've got to look in the mirrors you've got to turn the wheel change the gears you know and, but within 30 days you've got it down pat and this can be like a new language to many people okay so if you're new or even if trading has not been um, kind and I should have perhaps said this to you right at the outset and this is so true you know so many traders are just not taught how to trade correctly and let me just quickly show you what I'm what I mean by that I have what I call Curley's law now Curley's law simply says do one Thing. now you may remember Curly out of that great movie uh, he was Jack Balance actually uh, in called City Slickers where Curly said uh, to um, to Billy Crystal's character uh, do you know what the secret of life is and Curly then held up his finger and he said this and Mitch said your finger Curly said one thing just one thing you stick to that and the rest don't mean shit but what's that one thing that's what you've got to find out now you may be thinking Ray you've had me up to now but what on earth do I mean by that when it comes to trading there are so many different trading methodologies strategies ideas indicators etc it's so important that you start learning um, one strategy one methodology and you build from there now over 70 percent of the traders as an example that come to me are experienced and about 30 percent are, uh, are brand new and occasionally occasionally I'll have a member say or a potential member look you say one thing but how come you got 15 plus strategies I said well you go if you're an experienced trader and as you gain experience you when you own a strategy an idea you add to it so it's really important that you understand what uh, pullbacks and trend continuations and they're the strategies by the way you want to start with you must trade with the trend now getting back to this and we're going to come back to this very briefly and that comes down to your trade entries trade exit and trade stops the type of trades or the type of trading that you're going to be doing now there's a fantastic book called trend following how great traders make millions in up or down markets and there's another one equally as good and perhaps in some um, some ways better by Robert Miner uh, called high probability trading strategies now what is really important traders is that you learn to trade with the trend so the dark blue line represents the higher time frame you only want to trade when you get a pullback and a continuation trade you want to know how to master the art of day trading in the shortest period of time just do that and the don't the rest don't mean shit <laughs> it's true traders um, yes eventually you want to understand uh, how to trade divergence trades that is when the market starts to roll but so many traders want to pick market tops and bottoms when they first get underway 
in fact in New York City there's a great firm there called SMB capital and Mike Bellafori uh, he's written two great books I recommend them to everyone called one good trade and his most recent one which he wrote about uh, eight nine years ago now and his most recent one is called the playbook the inside look at how to think like a professional trader now I've come under some criticism because he promotes his firm and prop trading firm and yes they're an educational firm as well but the point here is there's some great information in his book particularly the playbook now what he talks about is that most of their traders are profitable every day 89% of the time and some of them he's got uh, he's got uh, traders earning one to five million dollars a year day trading now most of their trading is on stocks but there are three basic reasons for their high level of success they develop the skill set over time that allows them to get in and get out they develop pattern recognition skills and they're in the right stocks or the right markets and if we look at one of the setups of G-Man uh, who's one of his best traders we'll look at his first one here it's trading with a trend He's simply waiting for a retracement a pullback and then what we call a trend continuation that's if he's going short or if he's going long the opposite the same is true but just the opposite he's waiting for that pullback and a trend continuation if that fails he will then take a second position and he will he's been stopped out of that and this is his most favorite when the when this has failed because he's got a larger spot to go to his target so what is this this is a trend following strategy these are the best of the best you can trade trading with the trend so trade entries then you got breakouts a whole lot of other things but you need to clearly understand these the next thing is, is the hours allocated it's very very important traders that you put and develop put the screen time in and you develop uh, uh, the skill set in front of the screens practicing what we call deliberate practice now what is deliberate practice well it's no good just sitting back and looking at the screen and watching the price action tick up and down etc what's important traders you'd be thinking and you know um, what can I learn from this how can I improve my entry how can I improve my exit where's the ideal exit where's my ideal stop loss how can I improve this these are all compelling growth orientated questions then you've got of course a lot of traders use um, uh, very destructive questions so why do why do I always lose money you know this won't work it's just skepticism you've got to be you've got to have that growth minded now and, and just very quickly there's two types of mindset which we know scientifically you've got the uh, fixed mindset type person never wants to be wrong uh, knows all the secrets to life and then you've got the growth minded person um, well look I'm I'm open-minded to it I just might need to verify and that's mighty fine go and verify it but at least be open-minded to the possibility it's so easy to become skeptical and then you know our mind is closed so we've got we're 33 minutes into this one so I've given you a very quick rundown and the next video I'm going to start going through some different types of strategies because what's really important traders is this is I mentioned that well first of all cool is one thing okay you start with one strategy and you can kick butt uh, for example we've got a setup it's called the 34b and and there's another one they work hand in hand really the 34b and the 2b you could trade those the rest of your life and never do another thing just trade the 34b and the 2b how long do they take to learn if you're a brand new trader realistically 30 to 60 days you, you you'll have it you know you'll be able to see it in your sleep every setup I'm just giving you some realistic time frames you're an experienced trader yes you'll pick it up in a week but for newer traders or those that have perhaps been struggling you've got to give yourself that time frame that's so important so traders um, please make sure you visit my website subscribe better still become a member and um, uh, I'll see you on my next video thanks traders